everybody. Thanks for joining me. I'm in the blind, the new edition. And uh, I couldn't be any more happier. It has turned out really good for using all used materials and scrap pieces of different builds that I've done on the farm. It's turned out great. I used every little bit of what I could find and uh, awesome job. So as you can see, this is the very back of the blind. Um, our door used to come off the side of our blind in and we just fit two people in here with the wood stove, just. So basically we went seven feet wide or seven feet longer and we are eight and three quarters uh, wide and uh, that's basically the section of flooring that I had from a building that I took apart and cut up and it fit on here absolutely perfect so I didn't really change the sizes of it too much it, only about three inches and uh, it worked perfect two by fours a couple of house projects and the old original chicken coop from back in the day uh, three years ago or actually two years ago when we took it down salvaged all that the plywood stuff like that <clears throat> all salvaged and uh, had just enough which was awesome so I only have a few minor little things to do I put in the new window which I'll show you in a minute but around the edge of the window um, I there's a little bit of a gap so I'm gonna lay some 2 by 4 around the window then we're gonna insulate and probably the front half the original front half I have enough paneling that I could put some insulation in there and panel it and that would last for a very long time and it'll look, it'll look okay once we get it painted and then all on this section here we'll probably just insulate and then vapor barrier it and just leave it as that um, it is just a hunting blind it may turn into a little bit of a, a camp area for the kids and stuff like that because on this side here where the ladder is we're gonna have a bunk down here at the bottom but because of the height I might be able to get away with doing another and put an actual bunk bed in here an adult could be on the bottom the kid could be on the top plus you could blow up an air mattress on the front of the blind um, you could probably get a double in there so I mean we can come back and have some fun with the kids back here in the bush also which would be just a lot more fun I know Riker and Sadie want to do another 24 hour challenge we want to go the full 24 hours we, I did it with Riker we did 21 and a half hours which was amazing for him and I'd rather do it sooner than later because of the weather I don't want to be on here when it's really cold with the kids and get them sick and stuff for school so I'll flip the camera around and I'll show you and don't mind there's still tools I haven't vacuumed or cleaned anything yet so there's still stuff laying around in here so just be cautious so we're at the back here so we'll just step in there is the wood stove we got that all plumbed in all good to go this is the side obviously I got a lot of my tools here this is the side here where we're gonna put a bunk and possibly another bunk up here it'll be tight but a kid can be up there no problem and then this here is the original size of the blind beforehand so that I added this window here the shooting window this is the original faces right out the front now what the beautiful one and I want to do is get these windows take them out clean them up really really good because I had to you can see the the weird uh, stuff on the window there we had to cover that in because we ha it's facing south and the south sun is pretty bright in your face so with hunting that kind of sucks so I, all I had back here at the time was electrical tape and so we electrical taped the window just to have a small little opening so we could see what was going on and was able to shoot there's my rack from my very first deer here couple years ago and then one we had found here but this is the side here the windows need a good cleaning they're really dirty but really good and then outside all my messes have to be cleaned up
So that's the blind so far. Really, really got a lot of work done this week. I spent three solid days back here getting it done and, uh, you know, using reused, recycled materials from other projects we had on the farm here. Um, you run into a lot of issues of warping, which you might be able to see some of those boards are warped, but uh, again, the ground back here is very uneven. I got the base solid. And then that's basically all that mattered to me. As long as I got the building up and as square as possible, I did use a level. I got as best as I can. The doors open and close, the windows open and close, no problem. So obviously, you know, that much worked out. And uh, I'm just super excited. I cannot wait to get the bed done. And then uh, I might spend a night down here and uh, do my own challenge. What do you guys think? Put it in the comments. Should I do a 24-hour challenge back in the bush by myself? Um, I could do it no problem. <clears throat> Just bring back some food and some drinks and I'll be good to go. But uh, we got Yoshi over here. Hey, Yoshi. Hey, buddy. Hi, hey, buddy. He's my little blind buddy. He loves coming for a quad run and back here and hanging out. But, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about... Um, the blind last week we got a light little frost and this week the leaves are are turning quite a bit and they're starting to fall off the trees a little bit as you see the leaves are falling and changing color that means one thing falls in the air kind of crazy to think i don't know where this summer went to it's supposed to be a warm one today you're supposed to get pretty warm this week up into the 30s and uh some rain and stuff like that which we need we need some rain but uh it's not gonna be too much longer now we're gonna get a good frost and everything will just die off i love the fall season i love the change i love the colors and then of course everything leads into hunting season so it, it's it's exciting Plus, there's so many new adventures for us, many people around the world. But our oldest son went back to university. I'm excited to see what he'll do this year in, in uh, uni. And then uh, our two youngest ones obviously moved up a grade. So the little Riker's in grade three. Sadie's going to grade four. So I'm excited to see how their year is going to turn out, especially Riker. Um, he, he's turned things around quite a bit. Um, since we were able to finally get him diagnosed with ADHD and get him on some medication and it has helped drastically for him. The beautiful one and I have been thinking about these windows because the front window I painted last year to help with the glare of the sun. And uh, I think what we may be doing is get some uh, goo gone and get these windows clean. Take a razor blade and scrape them nice and clean. And uh, we're going to do some window tint. I think window tint would be the best. That way we can see out. Deer can't see in as easy. <clears throat> and uh, just see how that works. Um, it's not a lot of money, so it's worth trying. Uh, I just, I'm, I'm leery on getting any kind of reflective tint just because I don't want to reflect the deer movement when they're out walking by or something and they see a reflection of a deer in the windows. I don't want to scare them either. So I'm kind of, I need to find just normal like black, black out tint and uh, see what that does. I may even, the opposite side of the window where I'm going to put the tint, I may even still paint the window black just to help with any kind of movement of us in the blind. I don't know. Lots, lots of different things we're going to try. As you can tell, I'm in the bush. I was working at the blind doing some cleaning, 
getting the windows cleaned and come back for a walk to check different trails see what kind of scat there is laying around this morning we were sitting having our morning coffee getting the kids ready for school and we got to see a wolf in the field in front of our house And whatever that is in the field has noticed them. Oh, it's running away. Oh, it's leaving? Yeah, it just ran into the bush. And now oh. Ranger and Gordon's uh, dog just ran into the Coco. farm. Coco. Coco. So, I thought that was pretty cool. You don't see them often. You can hear them and, and find prints, but you don't see them often in, in person. So, it was cool. And uh, I just thought going for a walk would be good. Getting out, doing what I like doing. The skies don't look too good over there. So it rained last night pretty good. And I thought I'd come back and check the blind this morning to see if there was any leaks with the new roof. And nada, no, no leak, so I'm pretty happy about that. And uh, I just haven't gone for a walk in quite a while back here. Because bears are out somewhere. <laughs> Once in a while, I like going for my walks. So just because uh, it's a lot quieter than the four-wheeler. And I get to look at trails. I can see a trail starting or whatever from the edge of the, the trail on the four-wheeler. But walking them i can walk right up to the edge of the trail see how prominent it is inside the bush and uh verify a little bit easier that way so it's that time of year leaves are starting to fall everything's changing so time to change what i'm doing what i do in the summer and uh start getting my hunting exercise in <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no it's a lot quieter just came through the other end of my trail and I'll just turn around here that sky don't look good so I may have to just walk back and uh, head home it looks like that's maybe half an hour or so out but that's okay I did what I had to do today with a hurt hand I did a, a fair bit and it's starting to hurt a little bit so I thought I'd go home and get some Tylenol and rest that a little bit. Maybe I'll work on a video and who knows, I'll do something. Thank mm -hmm. you.